This is a story about a sheep, not a red-nosed sheep, just a regular run-of-the-mill, see-it-in-the-field type of sheep. Except for one important detail. Hilary, for she is the name of our star, has a multicolored fleece. So she is a little bit unusual and she's enjoying life in the field with her friends who you'll all meet in this story. But word gets to the field that Santa, yes, is getting cold on the sleigh and needs a jumper. Where's he going to get the wool? In Ireland, of course. Best sheep in the world. But not just any wool. He's going to need the wool from somebody special. Somebody a little different from the others. Somebody who dares to be different. And that somebody might just be Hillary. You'll find out more when you get stuck into the story of the first Christmas jumper and the sheep who changed everything. It is full of terrible sheep jokes that I thoroughly enjoy putting together for you. Would you like a little flavor of it? Let me give you a little flavor of it. This chapter is entitled, You Wish, that's E-W-E. -E. You get the idea. Now, about the lists, because Hillary loved the lists. You know now that Hillary loved to make lists, but Hillary actually had one particular list that she really loved to make. And one particular day of the year that she loved to dream about. The one day of the year that mattered to her more than any other in the whole wide world. Not her birthday, that made her feel old. Not Easter, a vegan, she didn't like eggs. Not New Year's Day, nobody organized anything properly. Not St. Patrick's Day, parades freaked her out. Not Halloween, she was sick of nuts. None of the above. Hillary was overexcited about the one day when everything felt a little bit special. The day when sheep were kinder to each other and made a special effort in the field to make sure everyone was happy and safe. Hillary loved Christmas. She loved every single thing to do with that magnificent festivity. Every day, alone on her patch, she would chew and think and chew and dream and chew and wish. She spent 364 days like this with all roads leading to that flash of magic that twist of joy, that kernel of kindness we know as Christmas. Her favorite list, out of all her many lists, was reasons why she loved Christmas so much. And it goes a little bit like this. One, the smells, pine needles, cinnamon, fresh silage. Two, the food, selection boxes with different types of grass. Three, the presents, hoof clippers especially. Four, the music. Her favorite song was Fleece Navidad. She loved the whole kit and caboodle. She dreamt of Santa needing to replace his reindeer with sheep and Hillary being selected as commander in sheep of that stupendous sleigh. The other sheep often looked over and watched with amusement as Hillary gazed into space, imagining herself at the head of a flock of flying sheep, guiding Mr. Claus through the sky and over the rooftops of all those odd human things called children. Her imagination took her over oceans, and rivers, and mountains, and countless millions of houses. She imagined herself soaring, the wind in her wool, the smell of Christmas in the air. How are you, Hillary? She blinked into focus and remembered where she was, in a field, with Brian. Were you dreaming of Christmas again by any chance, he said. You know right well I was, Brian. What else do I dream about? I know, but does it not get boring dreaming about tinsel and trees all the time? Not if you love something enough, Brian. I could dream of Santa and Rudolph and carols and cake all day long as it happens. Is that right? And tell me now, how is Santa? How's he getting on? Said Brian, teasing. Funny you say it, Brian. Santa was busy, but I caught a glimpse of his list, both the naughty and the nice ones. And there, in big, bold writing, was your name. Is that right now? And tell me which list was I on. I know, that would be telling, but I'll put it this way, Brian. You weren't exactly on the nice list. Brian spluttered in response and bits of drool flecked with green came out of his mouth. His already bulging eyes nearly popped out of his head. For someone who thought this was all a big joke, he was one worried sheep as he headed off to the far end of the field with his head down. He was really hoping for a fetching orange hessian jacket from Santa to see him through the cold winter months. But now... Who knows? Well, this was fun while it lasted. So all I can do now is tell you to get your Christmas jumpers together, get your friends together, get reading together, and we'll see you next time. Fare thee wool. <laughs>